everyone so today in this quick tutorial I'm going to be basically uh, mounting a I will be mounting a ISO image of a CD drive which I put some drivers into right here I'm gonna be mounting it into my 86 box uh, emulator so I'm gonna start that right now and this is the latest version of 86 box and this one is optimized for the Haswell um, processor, base processor, which is for me is i7 4790K. And um, I'll start it now. So, what you do is you just go to media. Right now, Windows is starting. Just go to CD. Just go to image. And I'm going to just mount that. Let me get it to full screen. So this is a CD that I just mounted. These are some of the drivers I put in there. Got some drivers in here. Let's see drivers. Yep. That's everything that's on that CD, and I will be uh, exiting Windows now. So that's how you can mount uh, if you want to get out of full screen. That's Alt Control Page Down. If you want to go back into full screen, that's Alt Control Page Up, just like that. Alt Control Page Down now, and uh, let me exit out of here. Okay, that's how you mount it. For for this um, emulator, for some reason, you can't mount the physical um, CD on here. You have to use a ISO file and mount it in here, like here, like this. You can't use a physical um, can't use a physical CD. So, if uh, you want to know how to create a um, ISO file, I made a video about. Uh, I made a video about it earlier today and I'll leave it in the video description so uh, yeah I also have a um, I also created a driver CD which uh, has uh, the drivers for um, Windows 95 and 98 base computers it also has uh, drivers for Windows 3.1 as well so both so uh, you could use it so it has a chipset driver for uh, AMD K62 and I will be making another um, ISO file with the chip with the Intel chipset for the slot one um, drivers as well chipset driver okay thanks for watching race 1000 KS 1975 signing out